afraid of mutants, huh? You're our kind of gal. You have the right idea. Power armor. Only way to travel. What do you mean you can't open the gate? Stop playing around, Danny. I'm standing out in the open here for crying out loud. I got orders not to let you in, Miss Piper. I'm sorry. I'm just doing my job. Ooh, just doing your job. Protecting Diamond City means keeping me out, is that it? <laughs> oh, look, it's the scary reporter. Boom. I'm sorry, but Mayor McDonough's really steamed, Piper. Saying that article you wrote was all lies. The whole city's in a tizzy. <sighs> you open this gate right now, Danny Sullivan. I live here. You can't just lock me out. <sighs> I can wait all day, Danny. Open up. You want into Diamond City, right? I just got here, but yeah. Shh. Play along. What? What's that? You said you're a trader up from Quincy? You have enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for a whole month? <laughs> you hear that, Danny? You gonna open the gate and let us in, or are you gonna be the one talking to crazy Myrna about losing out on all the supply? Jeez, all right. I need to make it personal, Piper. Give me a minute. Better head inside quick before old Danny catches on to the bluff. You first. Wouldn't have it any other way. Let you back inside. I told Sullivan to keep that gate shut. You devious, rabble rousing slanderer. The level of dishonesty in that paper of yours. I'll have that printer scrapped Ooh, for that parts. That statement, Mr. McDonough. Tyrant mayor shuts down the press. Why don't we ask the newcomer? You support the news? Because the mayor's threatened to throw free speech in the dumpster. Always believed in freedom of the press. Oh, I. Didn't mean to bring you into this argument, miss. No, no, no. You look like Diamond City material. Welcome to the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Safe, happy, a fine place to come. Spend your money, settle down. Don't let this muckraker here tell you otherwise, all right? Whatever. I'm not going to be here long. <sighs> Another see-no-evil type. He'll fit in just... <laughs> now, was there anything particular you came to our city for? Not really your business. Well, whatever you do, don't bother going to Diamond City Security for help. I've had enough of this, Piper. From now on, consider you and that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. Hmm, <laughs> a big Diamond City welcome from the mayor. Do you feel honored yet? Look, I gotta go get settled in, but, um, stop by my office later. I have an idea for an article you'd be perfect for.
one is one of those things. It's that secretary of his, her and her perfect. Favorite flip song, quiet as chill, huh? Hey, kiddo, how are the paper sale? Uh, I cut her hair myself, and I know you Well, there. the presses are getting overloaded. That motor is going to go soon if we don't replace it. Uh, you've been saying that for weeks, and the old girl still keeps cranking. Stop worrying so much. I gotta head into the office. You start whistling if you see any angry politicians coming our way. Why? Is something wrong? Piper? <gasps> Is Mayor McDonough telling the truth? What does he have to hide? Read the public for the hard questions. You? I, I don't know you. Just keep your distance. Keep calm. I'm standing still. That's exactly what a synth would say. But I don't know. Are you really, uh, human? No, I'm Jangles, the moon monkey. That's just what a synth would do, ducking the... Hey, Myrna. I said we don't serve your kind here, you synth. Human as the day I was born. Well, you do look human enough. But I'll be watching you. I have eyes like a... Well, all right. We can do business, but no funny stuff. Let's see what you got. Odds and ends. I hear there's a bar in the old theater district that's for raiders only. The combat zone. I'd stay clear if I was you. Around here, we call your haircut the scav special. Little flecks of blood, give it the personal touch. You should think about getting a trim. Sure. Maybe a new color, huh? Sit down. Let's take a look.
Don't mind my ma. She's always a little bit cranky. Just focus on you. Man tat, hoof out, stim pack, split, everything needs. A new face. Beautiful, but not perfect. Yeah, all right. Thank you for taking this journey with me. Just sit down in the chair there.
your lips. Maybe make them fuller, softer. Shrink your nose, taper your ears. Simple surgery, quick and painless. Don't move, Simp. What have you done with the real Riley? Where's my brother? I swear, I'm not a Simp. Don't shoot, for God's sakes, we're family! Put the gun down, now! He's a Simp! He'll kill us all! Kyle, no! Okay, show's over. There are no Simps in Diamond City, hear me? Just you folks and your damn paranoia. Hey. He pulled a gun on me. My own brother. Hey. Who hasn't engaged in a little friendly attempted fratricide in their life? I'm I'm not a synth. I I told him. I, I kept telling him. Why didn't he listen to me? I uh I need a minute. Move along. What's everyone still standing around for? Go back to your own damn business. for a pop quiz, everyone. Aww. Aww. But Mr. Zwicky, we had a pop quiz yesterday. And we've learned a lot since then, so we're going to reinforce that knowledge with a little quiz. But I'm tired. I'm detecting a high degree of fatigue in all our little scholars. Perhaps the quiz can wait? <sighs> all right, you guys win. We'll do the quiz later. Yes! Hey! Oh, wow, you're tall. Do you know that radiation is why Brahmin have two heads? It's true. Ah, a new scholar come to join us. Let's test your math skills. What is 12 times 15? Is it 180? That's right. I see your parents raise you with a respect for your education, family. It is important, yes? This thing called love, I hear the children talk about. I think they need that to learn. A child needs all the love you can give them. Oh, please do not get upset. Why is it when I talk about these things, there are always tears? I have one more question before you leave. It's not another quiz. I just... I don't get to talk to many adults. This love I hear about... Do you think you can have it for someone, even if the two of you are very, very different? If you love someone, hold on to them. Tomorrow you might not have the chance. I... Thank you. You have helped me make up my mind about something. Miss Reed, take water out of the Commonwealth. You'll year, get sick. That's what my friend Shank told me. You really me. should consider joining the science. See, all you outsiders wear such funny know. clothes. I'd rather be a security officer. That way I can hit people who deserve it. That's, well, I suppose enthusiasm is a good trait to have for security. But I really want you to keep the science center in mind. You can have just as much fun discovering the laws of the universe as you can beating up bad guys. Another traveler. Sorry, you're in the wrong place. This is a school, not a store. Just taking a look around. Well, as long as you don't disturb the class, feel free. Have a good day. Miss Edna, do robots have families? All of the children Sometimes you go on field like trips to the science center. I'm Those are so safe. happy seeing you all grow and learn year after year. What about Mr. Zwicky? Is he like family too? Like a husband? I am, um, uh, well, <laughs> we are colleagues. We spend a lot of time together, yes? But that's all.
some show, right? in no mood to talk about any of this synth nonsense. Unless you're looking for a housing permit, I can't help you. I'm looking for work. Mercenary type? We usually have a few open bounties. Just check the wanted posters in the market. Let's hear about the permit. We have one home available. It's in the center of town, right near the market. You can do whatever you like with the interior, and all the tools you need to make your own furnishings are provided at no extra charge. I'll take it. Here's the key. Let me be the first to welcome you as a resident of the Great Green Jewel. from the upper stand. Kim I Care cares about you. All your medicinal needs. We buy and sell everything to everyone. It's no sense. No sense. Go check that out. Hey, come on. Prescriptions filled. High quality Kim. Right here. Synth free shopping. Right here. Don't walk outside the wall undefended. Nice night, huh? Quality protection for sale. Is the Institute spying on your home? Read the public to find. Glad you dropped by. You holding up, Blue? Piper. Holding up, Blue? My favorite ballpark's become a shanty town. Today's been great. Interesting you mentioning that, seeing as you're from a vault. Yeah, you're not wearing the blue jumpsuit right now, but the pit boy and that fish out of water look? Dead giveaways. So here's the deal I want an interview. Your life story in print. I think it's time Diamond City had a little outside perspective on the Commonwealth. You do that, and, uh, I'll tell you what, I'll come with you. Watch your back while you get used to the world above ground. Here's your headline. Local woman says no. Gonna be like that, huh? <sighs> Smart ass. Fine. We'll do this later, but I want that interview, got me? 
Hey, Piper. You ready for that interview now, Blue? All right, Piper. I'm in. Good. Let's get down to business. So, I know you're from a vault. How would you describe your time on the inside? My family and I were frozen. I didn't spend much time in the vault. W wait, <laughs> they boxed you up in a fridge? The whole time? Are you saying you were alive before the war? Yes. I'm over 200 years old. Oh my god. The woman out of time. So, you've seen the Commonwealth, Diamond City. How does it compare to your old life? I've been having too much fun blowing things up to think about it. Gotta make my job hard for me, huh? Oh, now the uh, big question. Why come to Diamond City? You're looking for someone, aren't you? Who is it? My baby, Sean, was kidnapped. He's not even a year old. The parent after the missing child. As heartbreaking today as it ever was. Tell me, do you suspect the Institute's involved? I don't know. No one ever does. That's what makes them so scary. For the last part of our interview, I'd like to do something different. I want you to make a statement to Diamond City directly. The threat of kidnapping is all but ignored in the Commonwealth. Everyone wants to pretend it just doesn't happen. What would you say to someone out there who's lost a loved one but might be too scared or too numb to the world to look for them? No matter how much you want to give up, don't. You have to have hope that, that you'll see them again, or at least that you'll know the truth. A strong note to end on, Blue. Thanks. That's everything. It's going to take some time to put this all together, but I think your story is going to give Diamond City plenty to talk about. Look, about your son. I didn't know if you were on the up and up before, didn't want to waste my friend's time, but I think he can help you. His name's Nick Valentine, a detective extraordinaire. Got an office here in Diamond City. Just look for the neon sign with the heart in it. Thanks, Piper. I'll talk to him. He'll like you. He's got a soft spot for the hard luck cases. Anyway, I agreed to come with you, right? Watch your back. Just say the word when you're ready. I can't wait to see where this story goes next. Stays hidden forever. At least, not if I have my say. I'm too friggin' slow to join the Minutemen. Sometimes you gotta wonder does anyone fight back? Institute has to have enemies, right? What? You mean the railroad? That's a fairy tale, man. They don't Why exist. Nah, I heard from my cousin. He knows a guy that works for him. They got a code phrase and everything. Hickory. Follow the Freedom Trail. The hell is that supposed to mean? You're full of it, and that kind of talk is going to get you snatched up by the synths. I told you your luck wouldn't last forever. His ties. Oh, Nick. Something wrong? Another stray coming in from the rain. Afraid you're too late. Office is closed. I know you must be busy, but I won't take much of your time, miss. It's important. You're right. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude, but it's just... The detective, it's 
gone missing. Picture on milk carton time? If only it was that simple, right? <laughs> Nick disappeared working a case. Skinny Malone's gang had kidnapped a young woman, and he tracked them down to their hideout in Park Street Station. There's an old vault down there they use as a base. I told Nick he was walking into a trap, but he just smiled and walked out the door like he always does. Hey, I'd love to help, but there's the small matter of expenses. Money, huh? I do have 125 caps in the old rainy day fund. <laughs> Come on. This is your boss's life we're talking about here. Fine. We'll make it 150 caps. Last chance. Put some real money on the table, or we're done. Okay. You win. 200 caps is all I have. I'll find him. You have my word. Thank you. Nick should be easy to spot. He's always wearing that old hat and trench coat getup. Please, hurry. Bingo. 